Get your free copy of the complete tutorial at www.teachucomp.com forward slash free. If you elected to use the Select for Deposit window in order to assign deposit ticket ID values when you set up your customer defaults, then in the Select for Deposit screen, you can combine the amounts of the various customer receipts which you have received in the Receive Money window into a single deposit amount with a single deposit ticket ID. Doing this can greatly reduce the stress of reconciling your bank statement with the multiple receipt amounts that are individually posted in Sage 50. To access the Select for Deposit screen, select Tasks from the menu bar, and then choose the Select for Deposit command. Then use the Account ID drop-down to select the cash account within which you want to group the amounts that are received from the Receive Money window. Use the Deposit Ticket Date Calendar drop-down to set the date of the deposit. Then, in the Deposit Ticket ID text box, you will enter the desired Deposit Ticket ID, which you would like to use for the total amount of the deposit when you are reconciling the selected account in the future. Then you just click the Deposit checkbox at the right end of each line item amount which you received to mark it as being a member of the deposit. Now the total amount that is selected will be displayed at the bottom of the screen. When you are ready to save the deposit with the selected ticket ID, simply click the Save button in the toolbar at the top of the window. Like what you see? Pick up your free copy of the complete tutorial at www.teachucomp.com forward slash free.